Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video talking about the new release from Arthur Jordison, the CBM program studio version 4.4.0. Arthur is continuing to work on his program. If you're not familiar with CBM program studio, what it is is an IDE essentially for your computer that you can create C64 programs with and you can create sprites and you can create character sets and you can create screens. The topic of this video is to cover specifically one of the new features, PBASIC version of BASIC. Author continues to support CBM Program Studio with new fixes. It has support for Mega 65 and a lot of other features. Now in this release, he lists the features that are in this version 4.4, which include support for Waterloo structured basic. He added a custom load address for basic programs. He added configuration options for sequential files, character counter for sequential files. And then he lists a bunch of bug fixes here and he's always fixing bugs. And you'll notice if you pay attention to uh, his release, every couple of months a new one comes out with a bunch of fixes or new features. Now what you'll need to do to grab this is to go ahead and hit that download tab and download the latest version of 4.4. Once it is installed, if it's your first time installing uh, the CBM program studio, you have to go into the options and you've got to hit the emulator control tab and browse over to the emulator that you're using. Just point it to the executable for the emulator. The other thing you'll need to do is have a project created and point your program to that project. So I've already done that and I wanted to go in and demonstrate what this PBASIC does. So we'll go in and we'll do a new item and we'll create a PBASIC. In PBASIC, you don't use line numbers. So instead, you just use labels. And the labels begin with an at sign. So if we put an at loop up here, that could be a label. And if we wanted to print something, some string, and then go to the loop, what PBASIC will do, or what the compiler or CBM program studio will do when you compile this is insert and substitute those labels with actually line numbers. And it's a really neat feature, I think, especially if you'd like to get rid of those pesky line numbers. Okay, it doesn't like my uh, single quote. Let's go with double quotes. And it's probably going to be the wrong font. Let's see. And prints. Let's see. Oh no, it's fine. And so what I've gone ahead and done is I have copy and pasted from the help file this example program. And you can see there are no line numbers in here. Uh, and you can use the labels on go to commands, go subs. And what he's done is on, on go to, he's put lab, a bunch of labels into the program. And let's watch that program run. And when you'll see when it's actually compiled, it substitutes those labels for line numbers. It's a lot cleaner and easier to look, especially uh, if you're used to using labels rather than line numbers. And this program basically never ends in this. So anyhow, I will close that. And that was pretty much all I had in, plan in store for this video. I just wanted to demonstrate the PBASIC functionality of CBM Program Studio and to let people know that Arthur is still out there working. And please go download it, check it out. Thanks for watching.